Seafood. It's good for our economy. It's good for our health. In fact, the average American eats 14 to 16 pounds of seafood a year. But let's consider what makes our seafood possible. Quite simply, the foundation is healthy habitat. Fish need it to survive, grow, and reproduce. Take summer flounder, or fluke for instance. From late spring through the summer, adults and juveniles use shallow estuaries, where saltwater meets freshwater, as feeding grounds. These areas support a rich food chain vital for their growth. In early autumn, they migrate from near shore to the deep sea bottom near the edge of the continental shelf, where they'll spend the winter. Adults spawn as they migrate through the ocean. Then, while the adults spend winter at the bottom of the ocean, their babies drift back into estuary nursery areas to spend their first year in eelgrass beds growing and avoiding predators. The health and survival of fish, shellfish, and their habitats are critical to our nation's economy. In 2012, the value of all commercial landings was near $5 billion. Of that, summer flounder brought in more than $30 million. And they're popular with recreational anglers as well, so businesses associated with boating and angling also benefit from an abundant summer flounder population. However, summer flounder and other fish habitats face many threats. Pollution, coastal development, climate change, human activities, and even certain fishing practices put the benefits we enjoy from these fish at risk. If just one of these habitats is eliminated or severely degraded, a fish can't complete its natural life cycle. When fish can't complete their life cycle, they can't grow big enough for consumption or replenish their populations. That's where we come in. NOAA Fisheries works closely with federal, state, local, and private partners, as well as anglers, to protect and restore vital fish habitats, a key element of an ecosystem-based management approach. We partner with regional fishery management councils in each region of the United States to describe and identify essential fish habitat for each fish species we manage at each phase of its life. We share that information with other agencies, like the Army Corps of Engineers, to make plans to conserve fish habitats while supporting the development of projects that are important to our country. Many fish, such as salmon and shad, migrate far inland, so NOAA and partners remove barriers to fish passage to give them access to the areas they need to grow and spawn. Where habitat is degraded, we restore to help fish populations thrive. Habitat conservation is also one of the best means we have for maintaining and recovering fish populations. With healthy habitat, we can sustain the fisheries that will feed Americans now and into the future.